Everybody, welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning Channel. And today we are back at it doing one of these really fun old school videos, which is a live score reveal. So last time when I took the October SAT and, and I did do the score reveal video, I, rec I did it live, but I recorded it, right? And then, and then I played it for everybody. So I was asking my students, hey, should I do another one like that? Or should I just straight up live stream it and check it live on camera with you guys? So you get like come in and, and join the stream and, and be live. And my student was like, nah, nah, you gotta, you gotta do it live. You gotta, you gotta do the whole thing. It'll be more fun for everybody and more exciting. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. I got the email and my score is ready. So we're going to jump right into it now before we, I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my college board account, but I'm going to do it off screen just because, and then I'll pop it onto the screen just so you, you know, keep my email private and all that stuff but we're gonna start with this right now. So I got, I did get the email, I know I'm starting the stream a little early, but I got the email today from the College Board. So that was the first thing, so I know my score is ready. So now I'm signing in, here we go. I'm signing in off camera right now. And again, I haven't checked anything. I have no clue what I got, so we're gonna see. So it's signing in, hold on one second. Okay, and okay, we've signed in, hold on. I think I can pop it over. Okay, so I think I can pop it over now. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, there it is. No, March 9th, 2024. I think that they're saying that's an upcoming. Did I already register for this? I don't know what, no, no, no. This is the one that I tried to register and then it got canceled. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna scroll down. This is the next one I am registered for. And there it is, we got them. All right, there's my November score. Let's check it out. Okay, boom. So we got a nice 1540. We got the, the verbal went up a little bit. Again, I didn't prepare for the verbal, but uh, I felt like I had done a little bit better because I organized my, I, I kind of managed my time a little bit better on the second module and I jumped around to questions I knew I could answer first. But the math, very excited about that. It's a perfect 800. And now that's two in a row, I, October and November, perfect math. So that's pretty cool. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section as well as we go through all of this. But anyways, that's pretty exciting. Okay, um, Chewy got a 1600. Did you really? That's amazing if that's true. That's, congratulations. Hannah um, Usad says, hello, what's up, Hannah? Okay, so anyways, we're gonna go through and look at this entire thing here. So it says math score is 800, great. Um, but the, the thing about these score reports now is that they don't provide a ton of information, right? We've got reading. Here, let's look at all this. Okay, so they give me the school average, whatever. Um, 99th percentile, 97th, whatever, whatever. Um, and see, here's the thing. Obviously, I got stuff wrong. This is a 740, but I didn't tell you anything. I got, <laughs> I got all, full 800 on all of these. So obviously that doesn't add up because I didn't get an 800 on the verbal. But anyways, okay, very cool. I have no clue how many I got wrong. Um, yeah, but I don't know anything about the verbal section anyway. So let's look at the math. Now the math is gonna give even less information, right? Everything's gonna be 99th percentile because it's a perfect score. And if we scroll down here, let's take a look. Okay, so obviously none of this is helpful whatsoever. Um, yeah, and unfortunately, that's how it goes now with the College Board, with these tests. They, you're not getting the actual test back. You're not get, seeing what questions you specifically got right and wrong. You're just getting this overall score. So anyways, there's the score reveal, and I want to talk about this score uh, a little bit more, and I want to talk about what you guys should be doing right now after you've gotten the score. Now, I know a lot of people historically that take the November SAT are usually seniors, so this is either your last time or your second to last time taking it, and you're going to take it again in December. So let's talk about this a little bit and what you could do as a plan to sort of gear up if you are taking again you want to improve your score obviously on the verbal side we have a lot of content but that's not my expertise so i would check with the the verbal videos that we have on this channel we have had dan lerman who's talked a lot about ways that you can improve your verbal score we also have our in-house tutor olivia who does a phenomenal job coaching students on the verbal side so these are people that you can work with and lean on in terms of how to improve those scores but on the math side What's very important, I want to emphasize over and over about the math side is, why am I able to get a perfect score two, two times in a row, okay, and probably get it a third time, probably get it a fourth time, probably get it a fifth time? Why am I so confident that I can keep nailing these perfect scores or 800s on the math section? It's not because I'm so good at math or I'm a math genius. Sometimes people say stuff like this. It's not because of any of that. It's because of practice and because of, because of 
amazing pattern recognition and the pattern recognition comes from the practice. So this is a message to everybody watching and everybody learning and trying to do their best on the SAT, especially the math section in particular, is this is achievable. This is not saying, hey, I'm able to do this, but nobody else is. This is achievable. And I've, sh I've proved that time and time again, both with students I've tutored, but also with simply follower, uh, you subscribers of the channel that have used the videos and the curriculum and the tips and tricks and all that stuff to self-study and prepare for the test with enough repetition, with enough practice, with enough dialed in thinking, with enough memorization of the critical formulas, the critical concepts, et cetera, you can master this test. There's a limited universe. So for me, for somebody like me who's put in all this time and effort, and you don't have to put in the same amount of time and effort, obviously. That's not possible because I've done it over m many, many years, right? But you just need a fraction of that to get to the same level of comfort where you're like, oh, pretty much every question I see, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to be able to figure it out. Not only am I going to be able to figure it out, I'll be able to figure it out in less than the time that they've allotted for this test. You can eventually get to that point. But you got to have the math skills. And one thing that I've mentioned time and time again, although I think a lot of these false narratives have been slowly destroyed by, I'd like to say, the good guys, right? The, the tutoring companies like me, the, the smaller shops that are coming in and really trying to tutor people the right way, the correct way, and not trying to emphasize these shortcuts or tricks that are just kind of like workarounds. It's like you got to know the math at the end of the day. You got to learn the math. Don't be afraid of it. Don't run from it. It can be conquered. It's doable. This is coming from somebody who has not always been the strongest math student, who's somebody who became a strong math student with practice, preparation, repetition, etc. All those good things that make us good students. So this is a very, very achievable, doable goal in terms of now I'm not saying every to get an 800. That's a tough ask, right? Because you got to kind of be perfect. But to get into the score of uh, score range above a 700 is very doable if you got the time. And that's it. That's what I hope you guys take away from these videos and these score reveals. So I hope that was fun. Okay, guys, let's see if you guys have any questions. As long as I guess where you're going to get. No, I didn't get close to 1600. No, I didn't get 1600, but I got 1540. Not too bad. Bro, make a video on how to get an 800 on digital SAT. I made so many of those videos, but I'm happy to do more. We will. If you have particular suggestions on st uh, specific content that you want to see on the pertain to the math section, let me know. Happy to oblige. I got a 740 on November, but I need an 800. Is it achievable? Yes, it's achievable. That's only 60 points. Uh, that's a tough ask if you're trying to get it by December. But if you have more of a timeline, I think it's very doable. Just depends on your how much time you have, how much effort you're willing to expend, how you know how many practice tests you can still take and, and whatnot. But uh, I think you can at least edge closer to an 800. Once again, getting an actual 800, if that's your specific explicit goal, that's tough because you kind of have to be perfect. Um, but it's something within, for sure, within the realm of possibility. Let me put it like that. Um, three weeks left. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm registered again for December. So we're going again in December and we'll do another score reveal. And if there's anything else that you guys want to see or hear from me in terms of the test taking process and, and all that good stuff, let me know. A couple of things that I did want to mention that happened when I took my test. Um, and you should speak up if this happens to you on the test day is if the proctors are talking or they're distracting you, let them know. You know, I wish I actually I would have let them know or somebody would have let them know because they were doing that. One of the proctors, the phone, his phone was ringing throughout the test, which was crazy. And uh, that was that was quite frustrating and annoying. Um, another thing is they messed up at my test site. They didn't give us extra paper. They're supposed to say, hey, if you want more pa another sheet of paper, raise your hand. They didn't say that. And they forgot to say that for whatever reason. Another thing that they did wrong was they had tablecloth down, which made it hard to write, right? And on the math section, it's like, I bet you people probably poke through the paper because of, of the setup was bad. So anyways, things like this that I noticed. Um, one thing that I will say too, is I think it's not a, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to have a mouse that you can bring for your laptop. Because I do think it's a little cumbersome to use Desmos and like zoom in and zoom out on the track pad. So in retrospect, I think that would have been a benefit. I didn't bring one, even though I do think it would have helped because it was like a minor thing that I wasn't so concerned about. Um, but that's pretty much it. Those are my observations. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm gonna grind eight hours a day. I love that. I feel unconfident about M2. Yeah, module two, how to be confident. Well, again, practice, practice, practice. Watch my video where I do the hardest SAT math problems, 38 of them. And I'm going to make another one. I got an amazing list of difficult questions sent to me from a strategic uh, test prep 
which has which has another phenomenal YouTube channel that's on the rise that's that's killing right now in views and engagement and all that stuff. Her channel is super hot right now, so definitely check that out. But she gave me an amazing packet of math problems. I'm going to burn through all of those and have those ready for you guys for the December test. Anyways, that's it. If you guys are enjoying the video, please click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and we will see you in the next video. Let's go 800. All right, see you guys next time. Take it easy.